Right guys, Gaft is back with Impossible Signed Transpo Tutorial. It does require a few gaffs. We have a magnetic bottom of the box on a jack of clubs. We have the Instachange gimmick, which is a jack of hearts and a jack of spades. I will leave a link in description to a video on how to create this gimmick. I won't show you now, but I will leave a link in description. So you've got these two cards and this card here has a little bit of roughing balm just down this side here. So when there's a card underneath it, I can press here and spread and you will see the card I want you to see, not the card that is hidden through the roughing balm. So remember your roughing balm's on this side, that's going to slide into the box this way around and the box can go in your pocket. So this is a trick that needs to be done with the cards out and this already in your pocket. So we'll put that there for now. I've then got a double backed playing card and my magnetic bottom of the box making sure the orientation is correct. This is going to go on the top of the deck followed by your double backer. This is going to go in your pocket. Spectators now got a free choice of any card. You're going to get them to sign this card. Very important they know this is the same card when they see it again. So they're going to sign this card and you're just going to do a double lift. Because you've got this thick card here Getting a double lift, you don't even need to think about it, you will always get it. You'll run up against that hard card and you will pick these two up. So you're going to pick up these two as one, turn it over and put what they think is their sign card somewhere in the pack. They can see it's going in, you can get them to push it in if you want. But in reality, it's just on top of your gaff magnetic card. You're now going to tell them that inside your pocket, pull out this, you have a box. You're going to drop this momentarily on the top square everything up as you pick it up and say look we've got a couple of cards inside the box put these aside you're now going to rotate the box like this so that they cannot see that there's a card on the back rotate the box like this open up the flap the flap still gives you a bit of cover here and where you've got the little half moon cut out you're going to pinch all three cards and pull them out as one but to the spectator it will look like you've pulled some cards out of the box you do need to reverse count these now, so you're going to show you've got one. Now, because this has got a bit of um, invisible elastic, it does want to stick to that other car. So just be wary of that when you spread and you don't make too much noise. So you're going to show you've got one, two, three cards. You're now going to rotate the packet this way so that your roughing balm is still on this side. Pinch it at the top, square it up, and say you've got a jack of spades on the top. You're going to use your thumb just to hold these two cards as you slide the bottom card out and show you've got a jack of clubs on the bottom. You can show front and back. You're now just going to change grip like this and here you're just going to pinch quite tight and spread because you will the roughing balm will hold the chosen card underneath the jack making sure it doesn't split it might split a little bit here and show that their card is in fact between the two cards in the box. But it wasn't the jack of club, jack of hearts, okay. Squeeze it all, throw it down, and the jack will spring back under the jack here and reveal that their signed card is now in fact between the two cards inside the box. And what you could do if you want, which I have only just thought about, um, if you had another jack of hearts, which I don't in this pack, you could maybe take the jack of hearts out and put it face up somewhere in the pack because they'd be like well where's the jack gone while well, the jack is now here so that's how i did it guys like i say there will be a link in description to how to build this and i'll do the same with this the magnetic bottom of the box gaff um, it's the same as the top of the box gaff but um, i'll leave a link anyway just for some that might watch this for the first time so that's how i did the impossible sign transpo Comment, subscribe, like guys and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.